Hello and welcome. We're going to be talking about fixing this problem, which happens in Windows 10 in my case, which is this WMI provider host um, process using a lot of CPU all the time for no apparent reason. In my case, it uses between 10 and 20% of the CPU, and I've been cracking my head for many days now trying to fix this. So um, there are different ways to fix this. May, you may have seen some on the internet. You may have tried some, but they didn't work for you. Um, the most common temporary solution I saw is restarting the Windows, Windows management instrumentation, which is a temporary solution, meaning it'll only last until you restart your computer. And then there are these two other solutions uh, which are permanent, which is locating the client process ID in the taskbar. And you may have tried that too. And we're going to be talking about the one that worked for me, which was deleting the drives meter gadget. So um, I'm going to go real quick uh, to restart the Windows management instrumentation. What you can do is going into the task manager. Here you can see it's using a lot of CPU. You go into services, open services. You scroll all the way down and look for Windows management instrumentation. And right click and restart. And that would fix this problem until you restart this computer. But you would have to do that every single time you turn on your computer, which becomes really annoying really fast. The other um, procedure you can take is locating the pro client process ID in the taskbar. So what you do is press Windows X, the Windows key and X, and this will show up. And you go into Event Viewer. In here, it has to load a little bit, but you go into Applications and Services Log, then into Microsoft, then into Windows, it opens up and I'm going to press W to go real quick. You can do the same and you look for WMI activity right here. You open it up and go to operational. I'm going to just refresh it for shits and giggles. And here it is. You're going to see a lot of errors. You may have the same as me, maybe not, I don't know. But in my case, I have this error. And what you look for is this right here, the client process ID, this number, 17,484 in my case. In your case, it's most probably going to be different. So what you do is you look for this number in the taskbar, in the services tab. You go into the services tab in the taskbar, and you can filter out by this PID, which is service processes ID, and you look for that number, 17,484. So we're going to do that, but as you can see in my case, I don't have that number. Maybe some of you will be able to find it and it'll show up and you can see exactly what the problem is. And you can maybe uninstall, repair, you can see what you do with that. But in my case, it wasn't sh showing up as you can see it here. So what you do is you go into the command prompt. So you go into run, you can go to run pressing Windows R and type CMD. Going in, and then you can click, you can type um, task list, and then you click enter. And there, for some reason, you're going to find a lot more of these PIDs, these um, service process ID. So I'm going to look for 17484 in here. And I found it, it's right here. So maybe this is going to be the way you can find it too. <laughs> Finally, you can know exactly which executable is the one causing the problem and you can fix it, you can uninstall, you can see what, what it is. In my case, it's sidebar. So I looked up, pressing Windows, what sidebar is. And voila, gadgets. Which leads me to solving my problem, which is this one. I tried deleting every every one of my um, every one of my gadgets and one one by one I deleted it and added it and I saw that for each and every one of these 
nothing happened. But when I deleted the drives meter, then everything went back to normal, as you can see here. Right now, it's using a lot of CPU. If I go to drives meter, and as you can see, it's kind of stuck. They all work well, but this one is like kind of slow. You close gadget, or if you can click the X, but here, for mine, it's it's so slow that you can't find the X, and fixed. Now, WMI provider host is using its normal amount of CPU, and what I what I noticed is that this started happening when I installed um, logical volume. I um, I made a RAID zero um, of two hard drives, and it became one logical drive. It's two ter two disks which are one terabyte each, but um, since they are in RAID 0, they are just one logical volume. You won't see two drives here, they just, they just appear to Windows as, as one. And since I started doing that, then this problem started happening. So maybe the drives meter is not suitable for RAID configurations, I'm not sure, but um, yeah. You might want to ask me why, do, why exactly that happens with um, with a drives meter and RAID zero, but I honestly have no idea. But deleting this gadget and leaving the others to work solved my problem, and now it's working normally. Probably most of you won't have the exact same problem as me, but if somebody out there just happened by coincidence to have the same one as I did, well, there you go. That's your solution. Sadly, you you won't have that drives meter there. Um, I've tried adding other gadgets. Um, there are these drives monitor, but drive info, but they all seem to rely on this WMI provider host, so they all end up um, using a lot of CPU. So yeah, I'm gonna have to make do without that. Well, I hope that solved uh, your problems, and I hope I could help. And well, leave any comments if this helped, or if you have any other suggestions about this. Thank you.